Hey, this is Bond Diesel bringing you another Intel Insights. We have moved on to the incident reports. This time we're going to be doing the Riker reports and kind of hearing um, about them, hearing from Larray, um, hearing from various people in the Rikers and kind of getting a idea of their situation through this whole catastrophe and crisis. So let's listen. We'll talk a little bit and we will go from there. You claim the officer put you in a chokehold. It ain't a claim, that's a fact. And you felt it was appropriate to pull the gun you had hidden on your person. In self-defense, my client uh, feared for her life. And shot two officers, both family men incidentally, in the back of the head. Execution style, at point-blank range. And that is a curious kind of self-defense. You're smiling, Barrett. Something you want to share. Just having me a nice memory. You know. Childhood. Nothing to do with shooting two innocent men in the back of the head. Just puppies and baby dolls and flowers and all that shit. This is speculation, Detective. Let's stick to the facts. You know I ain't nothing but sugar and spice and everything nice. <laughs> shit! These fools got TVs in a bathroom? Both of them! Automatic goddamn toilet buttons and shit? They got a machine to wipe their ass. It ain't right, man. <laughs> Gotta put that to good use. <sighs> Sick of wiping my own ass. Not like they're using it no more. Yesterday we got into that art collector's place. Holy shit. Felt like walking into a museum. Fucking Picasso on the walls, face all smashed up, looking like Billy D's. Remember him? Ugly motherfucker. Yeah. You like that shit? Man, that shit's ugly, man. Put a knife through it. <laughs> Took the liquor, though, because that shit was fine. Uh, ain't gonna drink itself. Pass it over, would you? You ain't no fucking lieutenant, man. I was right by her side. Bitch owes me. Big time. Do not let her hear you talk like that, fool. You got a death wish? How'd you get past security? Hostages. Barely any of those fool guards come to work since that shit hit the fan. Rest of them sick or run off. Easy to overpower them. Make them do what we wanted. Then we watch them bleed like the pigs they are. Some of those brothers weren't so bad. That's Larray for you. Where'd the fucking barge come from? You know that stupid-ass administrator had a thing for her? She got him to do it all. Then, just when he thought he was gonna ride off the glory with his outlaw woman, she slit his throat. Shit. She is one stone-cold bitch, isn't she? Check this out, man. We need us a real battle royale. With knives and maces and shit. Like gladiators. Yeah, I love to watch them rip each other to pieces. How about cops versus judges? <laughs> Tell them we'll let the winner go. Whoever kills the most pigs is the pig that gets to go free. Cops versus prison guards, maybe? Then when he's done killing his friends, we just lock him up again. Save him for another round. Keep him for the full season, you know what I mean? Like a fighting dog. Cops versus parole officers. Now you talking. Hey, Boo. I'm sorry I couldn't talk to you in person. I don't know what they tell you in there, but things out here are going freaking nuts. Lots of people are sick. Some kind of flu or something, but lots of people are dying. It's scary, Boo. I miss you so bad right now. God, I wish I could talk to you. Please don't be mad at me, baby. I just want to keep Daniela inside until this blows over. You know she's so fragile. I'm so worried about her baby. I'll die if something happens to her. Or happens to you. Please take care of yourself, baby. I'm really sorry. Don't be mad at me. I really hope you're okay. And I hope that I'll see you someday. Okay. Bye. Press the star key to accept charges for this phone call from a prisoner at the Rikers Island Correctional Facility. Yo, this is Larray. What do you want from me? You know who I am. You know you can work for me. Or, oh, well, you don't have a lot of choices. Look, I got no beef with you, okay? What do you want me to do? Good man. What I need you to do is simple. You hauled produce before you went on the inside, right? Yeah. My people need food. You're going to find that food, and you're going to give it to the people of my choosing. You get it? I'll tell you when and where. 
you keep it running. There ain't gonna be a lot left. Get creative. Find anything you can and bring it to me. Fuck. This isn't gonna be easy. I'm gonna need trucks, and I'm gonna need drivers. You'll have them. Deliveries start tomorrow. You hear me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I sure do. We know them! They're the same under that uniform. Police, parole officers, judges, guards, child motherfucking protection officers. Fancy government agents with their fancy ass watches and their shiny guns prancing around like they fucking guards or something. <laughs> So this set of intel definitely tries to set the tone for the Rikers, um, kind of a mix of not taking stuff seriously slash being insanely brutal and led by an insanely brutal person in Loray Bar uh, Barrett. And um, you know the first one, uh, I assume, explains why she was in Rikers in the first place um, for 
quote unquote self defense um, of a cop putting her in a chokehold. Um, but then the officer talking about how um, she pulled a gun and shot two officers point blank in the back of the head, um, which you know would lead you to believe that they were um, probably not attacking her and that she was just taking some cops out. Um, you, you see a lot, there's a lot of brutality in here, um, a little bit of lightheartedness, but um, you know, the, the guys talking about how luxurious people were living fears within their own group of Lorraine and saying anything against her um, <laughs> making a fight club of all of the cops and parole officers and stuff like that the left for dead one's interesting because it's uh, I assume the wife or girlfriend of one of the inmates um, that is a Riker now and kind of showing that uh, despite the fact that they do seem probably like the most monstrous of all of the factions um they are all fighting for something at least some of them are um the you know loray kind of uh strong arm and someone on the outside to help her out um it's 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 interesting the the medical care one is interesting it's kind of what i was talking about how um i talked about it on stream about how you know, the shade agents um, and the JTF in general are all operating under this like Directive 51. Essentially, it's like super martial law and um, how that causes some issues with like shooting American citizens in a military situation with um, with no um, recourse or, you know, essentially martial law and um, allows it, it's the it's the temporary removal of um, the right of rights of rights in general. It essentially means the military can do whatever it needs to do to get a situation back in order. And that's what we've seen directive 51 being the most extreme version of that. So interesting stuff. Um, I think the Rikers are probably the most shallow of the factions to me, at least. Um, but they're led by a charismatic and ruthless person, which makes them kind of interesting. But luckily with the Lexington grind, we've killed her about 80 million times or more probably at this point. So that's what I have for this one. Until the next one, this is Bond Diesel. <laughs>